And now let's catch up with the former flame. Kieran, it's been an eventful year and a half since you left the mountain. What's one word you would use to describe your journey so far? I would say adventurous. I've gone to so many different destinations, so many different places, experienced so many cool people, you know, traveled the world and just had a blast while doing it. And so it's been adventurous to say the least. Yeah, it's been so fun to try and keep up with what country you're in. But let's go back to this past December. You had to win a spot in a playoff at the Live Golf Promotions event. What was the pressure like in that situation? It was actually kind of surreal because it made the that chapter so important. Um, it was good to kind of be able to go through the long tiredness of that whole tournament um, to be able to kind of reap the rewards of playing for this year. And so it was it was a long day. Um, it was a hard day. Um, it was a grueling test, both mentally and physically. Um, and yeah, obviously going about it and playing that 36 holes in that final day, um, you know, coming down to the last couple of shots, it it was it was nerve wracking to say the least. But I guess you can say the pressure paid off because then you found yourself on John Rahm's Legion 13 team. How did you guys meet or get connected? Yes, yeah, so actually, the, the first time I actually ever met John is we had um, a photo shoot for the Live Golf um, teams and events. Um, and so I got the call that I was on John's team on that Monday when I was down in, in Miami for the photo shoot. And about two hours later, John came in. And so that was the first time I met him. Super nice guy from the get go. Um, very warm, very welcoming. And I just knew like, wow, like this is this is really cool. Like not only is it an awesome opportunity, but like this guy is just so down to earth. So such, such a nice guy. Obviously, the addition of the other two guys in our team, Terrell Hatton and Caleb, it was just it's just been such a, a great time because we're all new to live golf, new wish to live golf, and we're all new to like each other and so we're learning each other we're learning like the ropes um and so yeah it's just been a been an awesome like time and obviously john's just been a great part of that because he's you know he's just such a nice guy both on and off the golf course and your brother scott has been playing with live since 2022 how has it been playing on tour with him great um he is an awesome guy and We've just obviously missed each other um, being, you know, from five years apart, be it high school or be it college golf or be it, you know, the beginning of his professional golf. Like we never really spend a whole lot of time together. And then I finally make it onto Asian Tour and he's playing live golf. And then I was like, man, like we just kind of missed each other so much. That is so special. OK, last question. What has God taught you on this journey so far? Yeah, there's, uh, he's taught me so much. Um, I think patience has been the big thing. It's not necessarily my time or my like course. Basically, yeah, once I was done after college in five years, I thought I had a decent season and, and the world would unravel in front of me, um, and it didn't. And so I'm scrambling around trying to figure out what to do, and coach graciously, you know, had me back for another year. And then, you know, you look at how the season unfolded. I, I go and play in PJ Tour Canada thinking I'm going to stick around in, in North America because I'm accustomed, like I'm, I'm used to this. I don't necessarily want to go over to Asia. Like it's, it's a great spot, but it's not good for me. And now all of a sudden I find myself playing a full year out there, like meeting some awesome people. And I'm like, you know what, this is actually enjoyable. And so it's just been a whirlwind of like emotions from like hey i think this is this is something that i want to do and god's like actually like i got you know bigger and better plans for the, for you and so it's basically just kind of understanding like hey like i went like he's in control you know his timing is perfect and so i've kind of been very very fortunate with that that he's he's you know had my had my back every step of the way and he's definitely you know been there with me every step of the way and so it's be definitely been more of a realization as I as I look back and I look at how the years have kind of unfolded of like man like like it's definitely his timing like let's just believe in that and trust in that. Karen you have such an amazing testimony thanks so much for your time hey don't get too big time for us here on the mountain. No I'll be back sooner probably than you even think obviously Liberty's been such a core place for me I've, I've grown and shaped the, the person that I am today so 
the college, the coaches, the, the everybody that's kind of been there for me. All right, well, we'll continue to be your biggest fans. Best of luck on the rest of the Live Tour.